Howdy doody fellas, it is your host Super Poopy, and today we are going to be going to a, a gun show here in uh, the high desert in California. Very lovely, a lot of good stuff. Like, I know there's a lot of gun laws, but when it comes to the historical firearms, you can still find some gold here, alright? I know you can't have pistol grips, and that's total ass. I don't know if you've seen a California uh, MG34, absolutely disgusting. No grip. And only 10 rounds on that fucking bullet belt. It's absolute cringe. Alright, it's worse than what Star Wars did to STG-44s. Actually, no, Star Wars really fucked up some STG-44s permanently. Keep in mind, these these rifles are worth $20,000 each. But, you know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But, uh, you know, let's not destroy some STG-44s. But anyways, we're going off topic. Let's head on uh, right in. Hard way, because this is cool. Whoa, look at that. And what exactly is this? Oh, it's got those tiny okay. bolts. You notice inside of, inside of the serial number, huh? the slide is blank. See, no legend on the slide. That's what they call a blank slide, and then it has the uh, Air Force. Air Force Eagle on it. Huh. Little Eagle with a crown over it. It's the Italian Air Force part. Oh, yeah, yeah that's nice. But he's a, he's a goober and got a shadow on it. I'm a goober and got myself a goober. 380. That's a special so gun, though, okay? Hmm? A regular. Oh, wow. And this is a Beretta, too? Yeah, that's a modern one. That's a 368 alloy, lightweight. Mm -hmm. That one. That one's a 1944. It looks like somebody did a, a, did a did a custom job on the modern sights. He was telling me the the British used to uh, when the ones they got a hold of, they'd uh, do black enamel paint on them. Is this one scratched up, or did it come like that? <laughs> it comes like that. Probably, oh, maybe probably they... killed Krauts. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's that's the cap. Oh, eventually you scratch off all the paint. <laughs> that's how many Krauts it killed. Mm. That's lovely. Panty holster and bra holster. So for all my followers in uh, all the other states, this is what we have to deal with. You can't put your thumb around the rifle, so it freaking sucks, but people make the best of it, so it's all good. These little Ruger Mini 14s are probably the best thing you're going to get on the market. They're lightweight, 5.56, infallible. They're actually more reliable than the full-size M14. And I've actually seen the Victorville police use them. Yeah, the um, San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is standard issue. It's a nice little ranch gun and it'll work anywhere you need it to. Of course, my uh, I went to the range with my dad and he, he had his M Mini 14 out and I had my SKS out and I was, uh, mm. I was I was matching his ass with my SKS. These are nice little rifles. I want to get my dad one. Do it. I want Eric. Because it's cool oh, and Vietnam related. Imagine carrying that bitch out there you No, I cannot. Get some sights. Just like a Goran. Yeah, this could get pretty heavy after a while. The Merlin. The Merlin. It shoots magic. It's a lever action oh, with a... This is some anime shit right here. <laughs> no, but I like this one though. And it shoots a fat round. Marlins, these are 44 Magnums. They're stupid expensive, though. I've seen those in best, uh, best posters. Oh, the man. I want to get 1860 Henry really want an M1 Grand. There's no goddamn way I'm going to be able to afford for the time soon. You could buy a couple clips. <laughs> They'll be, like, you'll have I, I was almost a dick. I was going to tell you to push that down. Why that's, would you do that's that? how you get Garand thumb. <laughs> Why would you, I wouldn't even do this that. thing uh, if you push down if you push down weird um, depending oh, wow. on how much of a bitch you are it might even break your thumb Whoa. it gives you a good chunk 
Uh, it's got the Islamic. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Quail with this shit. It's, it's straight from the Ottoman Empire. Oh, that one is. Yeah. Oh, the Mauser. The AKM bayonets, because there was, there was such a stockpile in the east. Yeah. This right here is a Hitler Youth knife. Appreciate it. Oh, dang. These went to a, to the Nazi Boy Scouts. Funny enough, after the war, they took this part out, they replaced it with one without a swastika, and they uh, they basically uh, replaced the uh, the blades, and they gave these to Boy Scouts, as Boy Scout knives. What? Because they, they captured entire warehouses full of them. So, slight blade modification, and they took the swastika off, and they just gave them out to Boy Scouts. So, a lot of the ones you'll find in the U.S. that aren't captured will be um, Boy Scout knives. They're probably expensive, though, now, right? All the captured ones were captured either off of uh, Hitler Youth turned Volksturm, or a lot of the guys who were in Hitler Youth, who went on later into the, Be the Vermont and the SS, uh -huh. they, would, uh, they would keep their knives. Or they would keep their knives, and they'd use them in the field. Can't see it now. I didn't think it was gonna be this fucking cold. There's a was that chin worth off. Was that worth it? It's a wakizashi. No, the wakizashi. The wakizashi. All the classic stuff. Do you have to do a background check for flintlocks? Probably. Oh. Huh. Because I heard I heard CNRs get a free pass. You didn't you didn't mm -hmm. used to have to unless they changed the law on them. Yeah. Oh. They've just been changing a lot of stuff over here. Around here they sure have. Because mm -hmm. I know a friend a friend of mine got a black powder pistol and it came directly to his house. Yeah. It used to be black powder you could uh, you could purchase and take off that way. California is super know, restrictive. I don't know about in California. Yeah, yeah California so is just getting worse. So unfortunately I was not allowed to record this one, however the guy was nice enough to let me take pictures of this weird ass system. Uh, I didn't understand how it worked, no matter how many times he explained it to me, but as you can see they're unfinished ARs, but you know, uh, in California you're not allowed to have a properly functioning AR-15, it's absolutely fucking annoying. But it is what it is, and uh, let me tell you, this system, you gotta grab this magnet right here and put it on top of that nipple thing, and then that pulls out a lever, and then you could pull out that stick, and then you could uh, crack the rifle open, and then you could click the button that drops the mag. Yes, you gotta go through all fucking that, like as if 10 rounds wasn't enough. Uh, say you wanna protect yourself, some fucking three criminals break into your house, alright? Uh, you're probably gonna miss a couple times, and you gotta reload constantly because you only have 10 rounds because of an unconstitutional fucking California law. Absolutely bonkers. But can you imagine that? In the middle of a gunfight, cracking your rifle open, you drop the piece, you gotta get that little piece of metal back. Absolutely bananas. Absolutely bananas. But hey, if it's unconstitutional, do you really gotta obey it? You know what I mean, Jellybean? <laughs> but you know what? Uh, you know, city cops are assholes and they'll confiscate your shit, but you know, um, not all cops are assholes, so keep that in mind. So, shout out to the police stations in Virginia protecting the amendments. Anyways, that's enough ranting, but yeah, that's how the system works. Uh, duty, fellas. Alright, so this is what we got from the gun show clips again. Last time we got munitions and all kinds of good shit. If I could just get this open, but yeah. 8mm Mauser clips. 50 cents each. The last time I got it for a dollar each. And this guy had him 50% off, so I'm like, hell yeah, you know, uh, can't have enough uh, stripper clips, so that's going to be freaking rad. Well, guys, that is it for the day. Uh, we mostly went there for the experience and got clips extra just for the hell of it. Um, but uh, like and subscribe, mucho love y'all. Take care and let me know what y'all want to see next. And also, I'm going to be doing more gaming, including a game that's not exactly historical. It's based on a historical thing. But it's like way over exaggerated, but it's gonna be freaking awesome and there's gonna be a lot of commentary over it So it's gonna be freaking rad. Anyways, like and subscribe, much love, take care